Hello, Tony at Hurricane Wind Power here. Um, today, I wanted to take a few moments and tell you about, you know, we're going to be doing DIY videos and putting a lot of different products up on our YouTube channel at Hurricane Wind Power 2.0. We're kind of making that pivot because, you know, earlier when we were recording on our YouTube channel, we used a lot of music and it was kind of, for me, you know, fun, kind of showing people what we were doing with alternators. Several years ago, we pivoted out of that. You might have seen a video with me walking around in the two megawatt solar field. We've got installs, 45,000 watts, several of them on YouTube and, you know, we spend a lot of time with professional installers designing and you know doing that type of thing. So if you need a system designed, uh, we have every nut, bolt, and screw, and we sell pretty much everything. So you know if you need that service, there are some people and companies out there that charge for those things. Give us a call. We'll work. You know we'll work with you. And we're also going to try to do some education for the DIY community and show some different products. Um, the reason for that is when we look at going solar, or putting up wind power, I typically see people talking, you know, different, different articles I've read, you know, at a 15 to 20 year payback period. If you do this stuff yourself, depending on the type of system, you know, it can be as little as three to five. So your parts bill, a lot of the time, we love our installers, but I mean, your parts bill is about a third. So if you can do some of this stuff yourself, or if you just want a small backup system, you know, hopefully with what we're going to give you, you should have the tools to understand how to do that. Um, you know, if you're one of our subscribers, I'm going to drop a link to Hurricane Wind Power 2.0. Come on over and, you know, subscribe. We're going to... We're going to have a lot of content that I think that you'll like. Uh, got a lot of new products coming that we want to show you. Um, today, I wanted to take a few minutes and talk about system design. So uh, in system design, one of the first things that I want to bring up that I talk to with people that call in is the, the mentality of buying a wind turbine, solar panels and then thinking about your system or what you're trying to do with it later um, that is not how it should be done you know you've got 12 24 48 volt systems or if you have you know other type of lithium batteries i've, I've seen other i've seen all kinds of stuff but you should consider what your goals are and what you're trying to do before you start sizing a system um, I'm going to take some batteries and talk about battery storage, which most people skip over that. And that should be one of your primary concerns when you're designing a system. So I'm not going to edit this out. If I say something wrong, if I get something wrong, you know, I've, I've, had, I've had a coffee and a Red Bull here. So um, just put it in the comment section. No need to be nasty if you have a different way or if you don't like sealed AGM batteries. You know, it, it, this is just a demonstration how to put these things together. If everybody knew how to do it, I wouldn't be doing a video. So, you know, bear with me. Um, the most common type of system that we see, you know, from the RV community, uh, off-grid stuff is 12 volt. One of the advantages that I'll get to in a minute it, with, with 12 volt is it's pretty simple. Um, if you have a battery, you don't have to put them in series. If, if, if you're running 6 volt or 12 volt batteries and you get up into a 24 or 48 volt system and one goes bad, you have to take the whole string out or you have to replace the battery. Whereas, you know, when we put this 12 volt system together, I'm going to put it together here. You know, if one of these goes bad, I pull it out, I keep going. However, if I'm designing a system where I need 2,000 kilowatt hours, you know, we're going to need something that can, we're probably going to design that around 48 volt. The reason being is when we get into the multi-power point tracking controllers, like the Midnight Classic 150, it's got 96 amps of capacity. You know, you can control 40, 4,500 watts thereabouts with that, you know, off the top of my head. 
Volts times amps equals watts. That's what, that's what most of this stuff runs around. Um, people get confused about the battery storage. We have here on the table, we've got VMAX 125 battery. So if we take the, um, you know, a useful way, a lot of people have a hard time understanding it, but watt hours. You know, we have the same amount of watt hours, whether we do, whether we wire these things up in 12, 24, or 48 volts, you know. So if we have, uh, if we have 12.7 and we, we multiply that by 125, it's probably going to be somewhere around 1.6 or 1.7 kilowatt hours. Is that? I did not do my homework before we started this video. So about 1.6 kilowatt hours. However, you know, you need to start looking at charge rates. So for instance, if we took that Midnight Classic, and we took one of these batteries, and I, I see people do this all the time, they'll put a big system up. The maximum charge rate on this battery is 30 amps. So, you know, to, to take all the current from one of those, you would basically, you know, to be safe, you'd want four. If you were getting 96, you'd le at least want three. But, you know, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna just take here, I'm gonna take the meter, and I'm gonna see where the batteries are at. And we're going to, uh, this may be a little rumbly here for a second, but bear with us. We're going to check the voltages on all these batteries. And uh, I'm going to grab the camera and show everybody what we're working with. So you kind of want to make sure that everything's good before you start. So we're at... 12.84 these haven't been charged you know it's just sitting at what what it's been at we're at uh 12.89 12.90 uh, so for the blooper reel should it and here we go we're at 12.86. So when we hook these things up, um, let's look at this. These are our cables. These are our cable lugs. You see we got Hurricane stamped into our lugs. These are, we make our own cable lugs here. These are Hurricane cable lugs. Um, this is a 2 watt cable lug. I see a lot of people using stuff like 4 gauge wire. If you think about all the current transferring across these things, once you get like even a 2000 watt inverter, I do not recommend that. But just to do a 12 volt system, you know, we're gonna put our, I'm gonna put my sunglasses on and I'm old and can't see good, but we, here we got all the positives lined up on the backside. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the camera off. And hey, you know what? We'll just let it run. Bear with me, people. We'll get it hooked up. So each one, each one of these batteries is 125 amp hours, and we know what the watt hours is. So uh, I like these Vmax batteries. It's easy when you're trying to figure out what the shipping is on them. They, you know, it's pre predetermined. You know what the what the price is is. You know, it ships within the continental United States for whatever it is, so there's no figuring that stuff out. They've made that really easy for us. Uh, so we're just taking and hooking the positive up. Notice I've put my sunglasses on here. Make sure that I'm able to see after we're done. That's a Always a good thing. And we'll go ahead and turn this off and you get an idea of what I'm doing here. Save you guys a moment. Just go ahead and turn it off and we'll put these on and 
Okay, so now that I've got my interconnects put together, and by the way, these are made with Cobra Flex cable. These are two watt cables. Um, plenty sufficient for what we're gonna do and what I'm gonna pull with the inverter later. But you always want to size your cables properly and keep into account how much current you're gonna be flowing uh, between these. I see a lot of folks are running restrictions when they put like four gauge wire. You know, that's something you see commonly with automotive. So people do that with the 12 volt systems. And, you know, one of the myths, you know, people call and they're talking about marine batteries. Marine batteries are built so they have like a starting, uh, they're able to start and they're able to deep cycle to some extent as well. However, you know, if you want to put together a good solar battery or a solar system, rather, you need a battery built just for deep cycling. Um, typically, you're going to want to look at the manufacturer's chart and figure out, you know, what you're comfortable with. Obviously, the closer you leave these things into float or the less deeply you discharge them, the more cycles you get out of them. A set of batteries, if, if you just discharge them up to 20%, you know, I've seen stuff last eight to 10 years. Whereas, you know, if you fully discharge batteries or go past 50% on a lot of, of them, you'll see the cycle life dramatically tail off. So, you know, one of the biggest mistakes I see people making is not buying enough battery storage for what they're trying to do. They overdo it with the solar, the wind turbines, and then they have a couple batteries, you know, not, not good. But if we look at what we've done, this is a positive terminal, positive terminal, positive terminal, positive terminal. They're all connected together. We've got all the negatives together, and that's, that's 12 volts. So these are 125 amp hour batteries. So in this example, what we've made is a 12 volt system with 500 amp hours of capacity. So when we take and calculate, we said that we were at about 15, 1600 watt hours a piece. So when we're at 1500 watt hours, you know, 1500, let's call it 3000. So call it 3200 watt hours. If we're only going to discharge this thing 50%, you know, we, we're looking at 1600 watt hours or 1 1.6 kilowatt hours. That would be something that would be more consistent with a backup system, you know, that you're using to charge tools, lights. If you've got a CPAP machine, some emergency medical equipment, maybe running a refrigerator, uh, intermittently to keep things cool. So, you know, that type of system, again, I'm gonna, I want to reinforce, you know, one of the advantages to this type of system is that if one of these batteries goes bad, I can pull it out of the system, put these together, and keep going. You know, we don't have trouble out of the VMAX batteries. And, you know, Caleb and those guys at VMAX are really good to work with. And, you know, I would just, just say, I mean, we, I'm talking about batteries going bad. You know, I haven't had any warranty issues with, you know, with, with this particular manufacturer. And they've got good stuff or I wouldn't have them on my table. You know, not that that's the only thing that we sell, but I mean, it's, you know, it's one of my preferred AGM batteries. Um, that being said, you know, when you, when you look at this, we go back to the old voltmeter and, you know, we go here, you know, we're, we're 12.87. I'm over here. I'm over here. We're at 12.87. Uh, 12.87, uh, 12 I assume. 12.87. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So, you know, we've got that together. And the next step, you know, I'm just going to go ahead, while I've got this in 12 volt, I'm going to bring out an inverter to hook up to this and show you, you know, how, how that would work. So bear with me. I'm going to grab that out of the box and come over and we're going to put that in and draw some loads off of this thing and watch it go. So bear with me a minute while we grab some stuff. 
we sell, I've got all black wire out today. This is just cables that we had made. You know, we obviously, this was a system. I've got a piece of red tape on the end of this. I would, you know, I, I would color code my cables if we were designing a system. Um, just something that we had laying around and to expedite getting out here, putting this video in, you know, it's something that I wanted to just throw together real quick. So that's what we're doing. But we do offer Red Cobra Flex cables and everything's made to order. So give us a call and I will be back in a moment with an inverter.